Hey, all right. Um, I kind of want to go back to the major scale of C uh, video that we did before. I wanted to add the fact that that we did talk about just the C major scale because it is used as a model for all other major scales. Therefore, to always obtain a distance of a whole tone or a semitone, you sometimes need an accidental, so a sharp or a flat may be used. For example, I have this. Uh, I have the D major scale here, right? This is the D. This is the. This is the uh, major scale of D, right? You will find that the F sharp and C sharp uh, are used so that it respects the model of inferior tetrachord tone and superior tetrachord. Okay? Now we'll go back to the regular lesson of the order of sharps and flats and their placement on a staff. Alright, so uh, both sharps and flats follow a specific order and they also have a specific um, way of placing uh, or placement on the staff. <clears throat> so the order to remember um, um, the order of sharps, there's, there's a few mnemonics, mnemonics out there, my bad. Um, my personal favorite is uh, is the mnemonic uh, uh, fat children get diabetes after eating bacon but uh, apparently people don't like to use that I don't know why anyways so basically the order of, of sharps so that would be this guy order would be F sharp C sharp G sharp D sharp A sharp E sharp and B sharp right okay so uh, the mnemonic you can use um, that, that m most people use is uh, father Charles goes down and ends battle I can write that down really quickly right there we go. Father Charles goes down and ends battle. Okay, so you can see I've uh, oh, posted a little staff here. Both the treble and bass clefs. Now, I think you might have seen this in another video or so. Or so. Um, there are a few sharp signs over there, but um, the sharps follow the pattern of up, down, up, down, down, up, down. Okay? So, up, down, up, down down, up, down. So think of it as like a, I don't know, a Nintendo 64 cheat code you have to enter or something. Uh, so when a sharp sign is attached to a line note, right here, right, uh, the sharp is centered, you can see it's centered on the line. When a sharp sign is to be placed on a space, like this one right here, right, it is centered on the space. Right, okay, and the same, it's pretty much the same principle for, uh, for flats. So this was, this was sharps, right? So for, for flats, um, let's give some more space. So the order is, um, uh, just flip around the other, the other order, right? And uh, you'll see the comparison, actually. So B, uh, B flat, E flat. A flat, D flat, G flat, and <clears throat> F. Okay. So a mnemonic you could use for that would be battle ends and down goes Char Charles' father, right? So uh, let me write that out. Right. Battle ends and down goes Charles' father. Okay. So there's a uh, different pattern for flats. Uh, the pattern along the staff would be uh, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Yeah, that's pretty straightforward. So, um, similar to the, to the sharps, when a flat sign is to be placed in the line note, like here, the space is centered on the line. And uh, when the flat sign is to be placed in the space, like here, 
you can see that uh, the space of the flat sign is, is centered on the space itself. Alright, that's it for now. Thank you.